So notice that's what it did here. You can go to either side of the transaction and it's recognizing it based on the amount and the date. And it says it's paired the transaction. So I can do that here, the 5,000 on PayPal side, or I can do it here, the 5,000 over here. And it recognizes and it's recording it not as a category, but as a transfer. So let's, that's the right way to do it. That's the best way to do it. Let's show that. And then I'll show the other two ways that record the same thing, but uh, it records it in a way that's not exactly ideal, although the same transaction. So if I record either side of these as a transfer, if I just add this, then it's going to pick up the other side, I believe automatically. So if I go back to the, to the PayPal, it added it automatically. If I go back to the, to the balance sheet and look at the detail, in the checking account now, I should have a transfer that is increasing the account balance. See, so now it's in there with a transfer. So that, or it's, uh, this is a transfer decreasing the account balance. And this is, oh, that that's not the right one. So it should be a transfer that's increasing. Here it is. There it is. There's the transfer that's increasing. So notice a transfer form can be used to increase or decrease. So those are like the tricky forms, but you shouldn't see a lot of trans. So if I was trying to look at the things that increase my account now and sort sort by them by going to like uh, filters, which is common to do. And I say, I want to look at everything that increases cash. Well, I would have to pick up the deposit forms, obviously. And then I might have sales receipts and, and um, receive payment forms, depending on what I'm doing. But then I could also have the transfers. And so if I run that, so now I just got to make sure to pick up those transfers. Now I could have some transfers that decrease the account and that would mess up my thing. But if I'm looking at PayPal, most of the transfers will increase the account, right? Because if, if my major focus is on my checking account and, and, the, and the PayPal account is just there to, to collect revenue, then it's always going to be a transfer from PayPal to the checking so when I'm sorting my detail, I can kind of usually think of the transfers as an increase to the checking account if I'm sorting, if I need to sort in that way. And then in PayPal, the transfers will always be a decrease because I'm always, you, you would think I would always be transferring out of PayPal to the checking account. So if I go into it, there it is.